Hello everybody, it's Grimwit from NatEvil.com, and we've got a little bit to talk about. Um, mainly witches. Right now, we're here at Natch Labs, where our motto is, um, something or other. Let's talk witches. Specifically, these kinds of witches. The plan was to take one of these guys out with a harm potion. Heal potions do nothing to you. Actually, heal potions make friends. Like, I don't even understand what the hell. But, like, if you, uh, if you attack a witch, like this, hey, how you doing? And then heal them? They're totally like, hey, you're cool. Alright, that's fine. But, um, yeah, harm potions don't do nothing to them. I have the difficulty for this set on easy, because I figured it would do a little more harm to them and less harm to me. But no, they, they take no damage. Oh, uh, apparently I also have the sound up too low. Down too high. I don't know, that looks good. Point is, which ain't taking any damage. Not from heal potions or whatever. And they do they do drink health potions whenever they, they need out anyway, so I tried different ways of killing them, right? Right over here we have uh, a little lab area that I've been preparing for them. Uh, here's lava. There we go. Yeah, they, they don't die from lava. Huh, that's weird. They usually don't die from lava. Okay. Did they die from fire? Because they didn't earlier. Okay, they certainly don't die from fire. Uh, this one has been drowning for a long time. I'm surprised she's still here. So they don't die from drowning. Lava, huh? Is that just because I have it on uh, easy mode that they're dying from lava? I wonder. I must admit, I'm I'm fairly impressed. Oh yeah, it's because it's on easy mode. And we don't do things on easy mode. So on normal mode, they're immune to lava. And fire. And water. So I came up with another room. You can kind of guess what it's for. What's up, dude? Hey. 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 I love you. I love you. I'm gonna heal you. Oh No! Feel my love! Why can't you people survive my love? What was I doing? Oh yeah! Hey, get away from there. In fact, all of you people get away. Go! Oh, show! This doesn't count towards my, uh, thing, but... Son of a bitch, get, get away! I have a purpose here. Anyway, so, alright. Here's the way, the method that I figure that I will actually get rid of them. There we go, got a nice witch party going on here. Very cool, very cool. Life looks really good, awesome. That should be the way, the best way to get rid of them, yes. So that's what we're going to do. Since potions won't work, potions won't work, and I still want to kill a witch, and I can't set fire to them, that was unfortunate, then we're going to, uh, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, by blowing them the hell up. Oh, I knew this day would come. It was really just a matter of time. Hey, yeah, check this out. 
uh, now that I have some TNT. But check this out. I just found this out. Okay, if you have like a, ha a whole bunch of stuff that you have just spread around the place, whatever, you can pick up one item, double click on another item. Uh, okay, just double click on anything. No? Oh, there it is. Okay. You got it all spread out. If you double click on one of the items, it collects it all in one batch. Which I thought was pretty cool. Neat. Let's go blow up some witches. Yeah. Uh, let's grab 32 blocks of iron. Gotta put the sand away too. Okay. Uh, it's raining still. You know, I'm, I'll, uh, I'll come back. I'll cut to when I'm prepared for the journey. Okay, good. I still have a potion invi of invisibility. You know, most of my time has actually been spent... Oh, I need to get rid of this, don't I? Most of my time has actually been spent grinding just to get my uh, equipment back back into gear. Oh, people are calling me. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on. Thinking about starting the farm over. Not, not destroying Grimwatt. Just, you know, starting over. been trying to get rid of stone by building more roads. Better roads, too. Which are expensive. Roads are expensive. That's what I learned. Oh, that's right. There we go. We're gonna weather this storm. Go to sleep. And just for funsies, let's see, where are we headed? I think we're headed to... Here it is, Witch Hut 2, the sequel, which is at uh, X minus 711. So what I'm thinking of doing, just for fun, is heading uh, southwest until I hit Endless Blue, and then heading northwest back to 711, but just to explore some of that area down there. And we know that Endless Blue goes on a long way. But, uh, yeah, we have the coordinates for this place. We, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Let's get some sleep first. Alright. There we go. Clear skies again. Whoa. I just ran into a wall. Okay. Cutting corners to the southwest. I think this is southwest. Let me see. Rises to the east. Yep, that's southwest. Gonna head southwest until I hit um, X of minus 7111, and then I'll head north. Or until I hit the uh, endless blue, and then I'll head northwest. So, alright. Uh, again, uh, which entry shall I call this? Well, I guess this is the next entry, isn't it? So, this is entry 30. I'll talk to you guys when I uh, find something interesting and we hit entry 31. Yeah. Entry 31. That didn't take long. I'm at the, uh, place. Huh. <laughs> I believe this is the Awesome Pete Cavern, and I forgot that it's damn near impossible to cross without finding some place around. I mean, I could risk the jump. Seems a little like risking for nothing. Hey, there's a sheep there. You know, I might be able to risk this jump. Alright, cool. Alright, that was short-lived. Another thought, uh, I only brought 18 loaves of bread with me. This is really dumb. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of running. Huh, I wonder if Awesome Pete has anything in his... Uh, in, in his food storages. Hi. What are you doing here? You look as confused as I am, man. Uh, yeah. He's got some eggs. Don't do anything with eggs. A blaze rod. Maybe in the back room? I don't know. It's been forever since I've been here. I don't remember stuff. Um, none of this is food. Okay, that was a big no-go. I guess we'll uh, pick up food as we go. That, that'll make this trip a little more exciting, especially when I hit Endless Blue. Hmm, 
to kill a cow or not to kill a cow. Die. Ah. There we go. Pick up some leather. Can never have too much leather. I was hoping that would have cooked his beef. I guess I'll deal with that when the time comes. All right. Entry 32. Rascabel. Hmm. Oh, decisions. I don't think they have any food here. Do, do they? No, I guess they got some farming, but I don't know. That seems kind of weak, going after the farming. But, wait a second. If I remember right, south of Roscobel is a... Uh, where is it? I, I set up a camp here to finish the Natch Evil sign. It should be over under the inn. And it appears I got rid of it. Shoot! Well, let's... Fuck it. Let's steal a little bit of wheat from these guys. This will have some food. Let's see. This farm isn't ready. That's been tampered with. Hmm. That makes me feel bad. Oh, hey, there's a full, uh, full thing over here. I know beggies can't be choosies. Oh, whoa. Nice. All right, let's do this. Let's see here. Put that there. Put that there. All right. That should be enough uh, for a while. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to be too big of a burden on these fine people. Oh yeah, Roscoe Bell has no fine people. Ha ha ha! Anyway, point being, uh, I don't, I don't think this will be too big of a, uh, too big of a thing. Yeah, thirty, thirty-one. That's that's not too bad. All right, cool. Let's um, yeah, let's get rid of these seeds because I don't need seeds. And we'll make some quick bread, and that'll be good for now. Cool. Do uh, you know? I didn't bring an axe with me. You think I would have thought of that? Ah, <sighs> not quite as well prepared. I bet you're probably asking about the potions of harming. Don't you worry too much about that. I got a plan about that. Entries in. Wait. 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 What's been a while. Oh, yeah. This challenge. <laughs> Raw chicken. I will accept it. <laughs> that was lucky. Or something. Entry 33. Something tells me I've hit the edge where the old terrain generated and the new terrain generated. You know, I can't quite place my finger on it. Call it a second sense, but there's just there's just something, something about this that feels oh, how shall we say, not entirely consistent. Um once I figure it out, I'll, I'll probably tell you guys, but until then, we'll, we'll just have to trust that this is where the old generation uh, this is where the old generation stops and the new generation starts. Oh, and uh, it's sunset. There we go. The new sunset for my travel log. Huh. Yeah, I wonder what it is. Man, that's going to be eating at me for days. Entry 34. Ah! Fucking creeper. Fucking everything. Okay, you die. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, entry 34. Um, yeah. There we go. I want to keep their bones for later. I, uh, I may have found Endless Blue. It's too early to tell, to be honest. I just exited a, uh, uh, forest which is ridiculously close to my thingy forest. Jungle. That's ridiculously close to the home base. Not that far from Roscobel, all things considered. Where am I at? 
Oh, I'm at uh, almost a kilometer away from spawn. Cool. So, I guess I'm going to continue this way until I am certain that we're in the Endless Blue. And we all know what the Endless Blue looks like. It'll be pretty noticeable. Like it is now. I may not need another entry for this. No, I don't need another... Well... Spoke too soon? Maybe I did speak too soon. We've got a nice little forest island here. Huh. That's pretty nifty. Well, alright. Fine and dandy. Candy. Or it's just an island. A very big island. I don't know, it's hard to say with the Endless Blue. It's kind of funky like that. Headed over to the northwest now. No, no, this is probably just part of the mainland. But I am convinced that we are at the Endless Blue. Crazy. This... This ocean. Crazy. Huh. Entry 35. I think this is goodbye to land. I, I really think we are in the true endless blue. In which case, I'm going to slowly start curving my way up northwest until uh, x equals minus uh, 7,000. And I guess we'll just head straight north. Or something. What's the what's the z coordinates we're headed for? Where is it? We'll touch two. Minus two thousand. Okay, we 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 got a ways before we're gonna get there. Like three thousand meters, three kilometers, whatever. I'm not in with you metric crowd. I'm an American, and our measuring system is rebellious. Not necessarily smart, considering that the empirical me uh, measuring system that the Americans use is based on metric, uh, what's the word, standards, <laughs> but <clears throat> rebellion. Entry number 36. I'm bored. Sound effect record number 36. Man relaxing. Man thinking. Man pondering a number between 1 and 10. A mime and his audience. A dead insect. A swarm of dead insects. Tree falling in the forest. Traffic as heard from 30 miles away. Woman handling situation with kid gloves. Imagination. Okay, I'm still bored. Entry number 37. This... huh. I, uh, I've passed a couple of islands before. No big deal. But, um... Huh. There's another one over there. I doubt it's as interesting. Huh. This, no, this one's not as interesting as that last one. Well, uh... Well, alright. I guess I'm... Headed back northwest. Entry 38, I think. This looks promising. 
I think I'm starting to hit the uh, northern shores of the Endless Blue. I guess that's why we start getting big clumps of land like this, which isn't per se a mainland, just a really big island. Or is this the mainland? No, no, this has got to be another big island. Or, you know, I've been wrong before. Uh, I really... You know, I really can't wait to get to a point where I just start exploring the Endless Blue. Because there's lots of things and stuff. Like that down there. What is that? What is that? I've, I've probably seen it before. Although it's generating new terrain around here, so maybe not. I'm going to find out what that is. What are you? Why are you here? What's going on? Let's get some air real quick. There we go. I'm in some kind of area. What I don't understand is where the light is coming from. Now, immediately you would think, well, the light is coming from lava. But how can there be lava with this much water? Glub, 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 glub. So where the heck is this light coming from? What on earth? Your absurd, weird structure. Let's get out of here. Ah, there's my ship. There we go. Alright, which way was I going? Well, sun said sun is setting that direction means we have a new eye. So that must mean I head this direction. No problem. Everything's copacetic. I feel like I've done this exploring thing long enough so that I've just kind of... I leveled up somewhere back there so I no longer get super lost. I still get lost, but not super lost. Whoa. Whoa. Lagtastic. All right. All right, entry number 39? Yeah. Land ho! I might have to sneak around it a little bit, skirt around it as it were, because this looks like the Great White West. Could easily be the Great White West. Am I going to have to make landfall? Hmm. Yep, I will. That's fine. Let's grab my boat. Of course, it had to happen at night, didn't it? In fact, this might be... This might be Mistfall Island. Hmm. I'm not real sure where I am, but I know where my coordinates are. And I know I've got to go north a little bit, and then west a lot. There we go. Let's see, i got to go north to... Uh, let's keep within the hundreds. Negative 2200 and west negative 7100. So 22, huh? That won't be too far now. I guess that uh, there might even be some more shipping to do. Oh, look, a whole bunch of people who want my blood. Am I gonna deal with creepers? Am I gonna deal with creepers? Are you creepers gonna creep me? Yes. Buster. Yeah, I'll pick up your, uh, your ashes. Any more? No? Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, there's not far north to go, and then I'm probably going to hit the boat again and start heading west directly. That means we'll pass by that one town. I forgot what the name of the town was. You guys told me what the name of the town was. I'll check it before... Uh... Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Where'd he go? Okay. It's fine. Don't come and play. Just fucking hit my boat. Get out of here. I start my own fight with blackjack and hookers. Yeah, and I'll keep the fight, too. And... Yeah, I might as well just start heading straight west. Ooh. 
Room 340. I have no memory of this place. Hmm. I think I would. It's fairly distinct. Did I come back here? Ow. Is this the bone my is this the bone meister's forest? I don't know. Hmm. Well at least I'll let myself know that I've been here. Put up a couple of torches, some throw pillows, a decoration crew working around the clock, and it ought to look pretty good. Whoa. Uh, there we go. Hi! Hi, oh, I missed him. They're learning! They're evolving! <laughs> Oh, hey, grab that before it sets fire. Um, shoot, I don't, I really don't remember this place. What's up, Ducky? Oh, no, oh, that didn't work. And I didn't bring any ladders with me. Ah, uh, it's such a bitch to go around, though. Didn't want it to come to this. It's just a bother. There. At least the night's almost coming to an end. Eh. Where are we at? I'm not too far from where I was. I need to back a little bit to the south, but other than that, we're doing pretty good. We're making good time. Entry 41. Oh, man. King of the fucking world. Yeah. This... What do they call it? Somebody called this something like, uh... Procedurally generated, uh... Procedurally generated jumping puzzle? That's not far from wrong. There we go. Fortunately, it doesn't do much to dissuade me from moving on, but... Hmm. So I gotta go down south here. You may notice I'm kind of loath to damage the surrounding area as much as possible when I do my exploring. It's because I, I really like the way this procedurally generated world develops. I don't want to harm it. I want to keep it natural. Virginal. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Virginal. Huh. Man, king of the fucking world. Bonk. Ho ho, entry number 42. Not just land, uh, land ho, but also... I'm pretty sure which land ho. Oh, well, you know which land ho. It's, uh... It's the land ho for witches. Ha-ha! Speaking of witches... Kerblunk. Oh, yeah. Victory bread. I've asked ye scurvy witch. We have you at hand. Surrender your women and intellectuals. Hmm. Might be a bit before she shows up. Well, I don't have a whole lot of time. Time to set up. We're not going to set up the bombs yet. That is for later. Right now, what we need ladders. I should have got them earlier. And some wood. There we are. Go. Really must remember to get me a an axe. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, she is nowhere to be found. 
should mess with her head a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha That'll screw her up. Okay. Okay, we must backtrack and wait, and make sure that there is indeed a witch living in this hut. Because we've only seen the hut, I haven't seen her spawn a witch yet. That'll give me time to set up, because I need to make a couple of things. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to need to make a couple of things for this, so, alright. Is there a cave down there? Oh, it doesn't matter. Right here is fine where I can see the hut. <laughs> 